Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we uh, completed the Shadow Pokemon Lab and got our final uh, Legendary Beast Shadow Pokemon in Raikou. Now, why am I back in a gate village? Oh, God, have you been doing some more purifying? Well, I guess I have. Um, every single Pokemon now that is a Shadow Pokemon that I've ever owned is now ready to be, pur to be purified. So let's go do that. Let's go do that quickly, mostly because we're getting to the end game of the main story. Uh, and I want to get sort of like a team ready, a team sorted. Um, so, yeah. Um, not sure who's going to be on the team yet. I mean, I've got a few ideas on who's going to be on the team, but uh, I guess we'll find out for later. So, let's kick off with Gliger. Yay. Go, Gliger. You will probably not be on my team. As much as Gliger's pretty good, you know, it's got two uh, resistances. It's pretty decent, but... Um, Mm. Regain the move Fate Attack and obtain a Ribbon. Not sure if I'm going to be using Gliger here. Um, there are better ground types I can use and there are better flying types I can use if I want to. Uh, but your name we shall call you Nightwing. Yes. Because, well, why the hell not at this point? I'm literally just plucking these out of the blue. As I've said, most of these have come from my Pokemon in Pokemon Go, so I just call Gliger Nightwing for the moment. So, there you go. That's Nightwing. Moving on, next one. It's Stantler. Yes. Stantler, we will definitely not be using you. Uh, you're okay, but um, there's just... There's not really much use in having a normal type on your team here. Regain the move Astonish. Regain zero experience points. And obtained another ribbon. And our name for Stantler shall be... Blitzen. Because, well... The reindeers. And Rudolph was a bit too generic. So let's go for the bad, most badass sounding reindeer name. Blitzen. Let's be honest. Cupid? Comet? No, Blitzen. Blitzen's where it's at. Alright. Even Rudolph sounds a bit ugh. Alright, Fortress. You are next. Um, might use you. I know, Fortress is a pretty decent tank. Um, it's strong. It's a lot of stuff apart from fire, so... It's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have really much in the way... Oh, we got Explosion as well. That's pretty useful. Uh, we've obtained a ribbon, and we'll give a nickname to Fortress. Uh, your name shall be... Your name shall be Shrapnel. There we go. Because you explode, and probably lots of, lots of Shrapnel turn up and get lodged into people's faces. Yes. You're on one gimmick, Shrapnel. You can blow up. All right. Next up is Granbull. Can we open the door to your bloody heart? Yes. Yeah. And we open the door to Granbull's heart. Regain the move Bite. And regain zero experience points. Which is a bit of a shame. We obtained a ribbon. Right. You're a female Granbull. Let's go for a name that sounds buff and weird. Yeah, and screw you. So we'll go for Brunhilda. Your name shall be Brunhilda. There you go. A name that sounds buff and yeah, and screw you, and I'm gonna kick your ass, sort of thing. All right, next up, the brother. You are now ready. I am definitely considering putting Vibrava on my team. Is he going to be uh, Vibrava or it's going to be Altaria? I'm not sure. Vibrava does have an extra uh, resistance uh, in uh, electric types, which is pretty good. Uh, regain the move Crunch and gain zero experience points. Obtain the ribbon and give it into Vibrava. Yes, I shall. Uh, you're green and you're a woman, so we're going to call you Olive. Olive Kaisis. So, we're, we're going to call you Olive. There you go. Your name is Olive. Alright. It was either I call it Pinchy, but it works for Trapinch. doesn't really work for Vibrava or Flygon. Uh, but yeah, def definitely considering putting uh, Vibrava on my team, because Flygon's pretty good. Last but not least, Apom. At least in this first session, we still have six to go after this. Yes, including both of the other legendary beasts. Got them sorted as well. Don't worry about it. Alright. Apom is fully ready. Get to the move Baton Pass. That's pretty good. 
And the container ribbon, and your name. We will never be using you, Apom. So, do you know what? Your name shall be... Whoops. Your name shall be Lazy Arms. Because your arms are so lazy that you have to use your tail for everything instead. Which is a hand. Your name shall be Lazy Arms. Might consider using you if this was Generation 4, but sadly it's not. They brought in so many, uh, like, Shadow Pokemon that were... That get an evolution in Generation 4, and then... I don't know. It's just weird to me. It's like, couldn't you have waited for, you know, another generation and then... You know, do that instead? Maybe for Battle Revolution or something? No. No, had to do it now. It's like, instead of Apom, you could have given me, I don't know, Snorlax. That'd have been pretty cool. You know, something that I would actually want to use. Alright, but anyway. It is time to get the rest of the Shadow Pokemon out. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to now change one of the boxes from Shadow to Purify because we have so many Shadow Pokemon. We have so many Purify Pokemon. So we have Raikou here, we have Palaswine, we have Ariados, we have Sneasel, we have Suicune, and we have... Mm, Murkrow. Great. Well, do you know what? let's get Murkrow out of the way first because I don't like the Git uh, Ariados. It's strange, actually, because when I was walking around... Um, actually, the weirdest of things is that, um, Gligar already had a little bit of its, uh, heart gauge, um, uh, over a Pokemon like Raikou. Yet, Raikou finished first, and Raikou's a legendary and needs a lot of experience points, uh, to unlock. So, that's very weird to me that Gligar actually took longer to purify than, uh, Raikou did. It's weird. It's very weird. Anyway... It's now time for our last six Pokemon to be purified. And then we'll go to the under and see what Net wants. But first I want to see what this is going on. Then probably at the start of the next episode I'll be thinking about what I'm going to want as a main team, let's say. Uh, at least for the main game. The post-game team will probably change again. But uh, yeah, let's kick off with Murkrow. Git. We'll never be using you even though you're actually pretty good. But still, we'll never be using you. I refuse to use you, Murkrow. After all the shit you put me through in Pokemon Go, refuse to use you. You regain the Fate Attack, regain zero ex uh, experience, because I'll never use a Murkrow. And since I hate you so much, your name shall be Plumsack. There you go. Sorry to all fans of Murkrow. I do like Honchkrow, but Pokemon Go has made me hate Murkrows. So, your name shall be Plumsack. You are a sack of plums. There you go. All right. He's not very happy about that. Neither would I if my, my name was Plumsack. All right, next up, Ariados. You are next. Yay. And you are sorted. I could call you sad ass, but you know, the only problem with that is that it's not Spinarak anymore. Spinarak would be called a sad ass, definitely. Ooh, again, the move Spiderweb. That's pretty good. Uh, obtain the ribbon and nickname to Ariados. Yes, I shall. Uh, your name shall be Widow, because, do you know what, screw it, let's go on the whole tangent of things I don't like. So, first off, Murkrows hate Murkrows. Widow from Binding of Isaac don't like him either. So, there we go. You are now called Widow. Alright, moving onwards. Sneasel, you are next. Yes. Go Sneasel and your cross eyes. Yay. Alright. Sneeze open the door to its heart. Gain zero experience and obtain a ribbon. Oh, nice. Your name shall be... Uh... Fred. Well, for Freddy Krueger, but, you know. I can't remember how to pronounce, how to spell Krueger, so... Uh, instead of having uh, problems in the comments, I'd much rather just call him Fred. So there you go, his name is now Fred. Pulsewine, you're next. Yay! There's going to be a lot of experience here for Palaswine, because use Palaswine a fair amount. So, uh, Palaswine's about to grow a fair amount of experience. Love, love even, probably. <coughs> we can move in Jur. Wow! 7,800 experience. That gets him up to level 44. Very nice for Palaswine. I use Palaswine a lot. And, uh, your name, pretty obvious. Uh, your name shall be Groove! From my Pokemon Gold Let's Play, where I actually used a Palaswine, so there you go. And last but not least, we have our two legendary beasts. 
which are all sorted, and I still have three time flutes that I can use for whatever I want. Definitely going to be using it on the uh, end game shadow Pokemon because some of them are bloody awesome and I want them. First up, Raikou. Raikou, welcome. We gain the move Rain Dance for Raikou. That's awesome. That's awesome. We attain a ribbon. Give a nickname to Raikou. Yes. Your name shall be, like my Raikou in uh, Pokemon Go, your name shall be Diego. Named after the Saber Tooth Tiger from uh, the Ice Age series. There we go. Welcome, Diego. Uh, definitely considering using Diego because, well, the only other good electric type is Ampharos, and Ampharos is slow. You know, so I may actually, I mean, I'm fairly certain the Raikou's going to stick around for the rest of the game, the rest of the playthrough. Uh, when it comes to everyone else, I'm not too sure. Not even with Espeon, because there is a really good psychic type you can get. Anyway, so we can open the door to its heart and regain the move Rain Dance as well. Need zero experience, which is a shame, but oh well. Obtained a ribbon and given a nickname. Uh, well, you just got a ribbon, so I might as well call you ribbons. Also, those weird white things, they look like ribbons. So, your name shall be Ribbons! Yes! Ribbons, Papa, and Diego. They are all here now. But yeah, so um, we now have every Pokemon that we have caught so far is now fully purified. So let's just have a look at the uh, the moves for the moment. So yeah, that's a pretty decent move set for Diego there. Um, okay, quick quick attack's not too good, but Thunder Rain Dance combo pretty good. Um, Pulsewine Dig and Blizzard, that's really good. Uh, Murkrow, you suck, but your moves are actually pretty pretty decent. Um, Ariados, Leech Life and Sludge Bomb with Spiderweb as well, which stops targets from flinching, so, uh, from switching, so it's, it's a pretty decent utility Pokemon actually is Ariados. Uh, Fred, Icy Wind and Fate Attack, not the best, especially when both of his stabs are special. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, ooh, Surf on Suicune, so Suicune is definitely in contention with, uh, Brock as my, uh, water user. And I'm really considering popping pop Suicune on my team, just because it's overall it's better. I mean, that would mean that I would have all three legendary beasts on my team. Which people would be like, oh my god, you legendary whore. But hell, this the, the end bit of this game gets really difficult. So I don't, I don't really care about that. So, you know. Eh. I mean, hell, I'll tell you, I'm not using the bloody Pokeball glitch. I used it once to show it off. You can give me that, at least. Speaking of that, uh, we are about to be getting a really good item. Like an amazing item. Um, I believe we get it when we go to the final bit of the game. And um, it does beg the question of, you can use the glitch on it. Which is, uh, well, it's interesting. Uh, whether you want to do that, on the other hand, is a different story. Um, you may want to. Um, it would certainly make the game a lot easier, but it's a bit cheap. Uh, but I will, I'll, I'll mention it when we get to that. But for the moment, we are now going to the Under the Sea, what Net wants. What does bloody Net, well, Net, Net, we know what Net wants. Net wants, uh, the data from our, uh, data ROM that we got. So, we'll go and see Net at the Kids Grid and, uh, see what, uh, see what he wants. While we still have six purified Pokemon, that probably only two of them will actually be my main team. Yeah, not even Palaswine. I don't even think Palaswine will be my team. Maybe? Possibly? Not sure. Not sure about Palaswine at the moment. You never know. Hello. Oh, Mastrath. How did it go? Did you find any data? Mastrath handed the data ROM to Net. Oh, now this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh, hey, this day ROM appears to contain a list of shadow Pokemon that's been made so far. Oh, no, but it looks like they've wiped the data. Mastrath, please leave, the, please leave this with me. I'll somehow try receiving, uh, tr retrieving information from this data ROM. Even if it means going over it little by little. Mastrath, as soon as I discover anything, I'll email your PDA. All right, well, thank you very much for that, Net. Uh, and there's a little bit of a side, st side story, I guess. You know, you can... Uh, you can see what shadow Pokemon are left that you haven't caught yet, so you can do that, I guess. Anyway, what we want to do, we want to press, we want to use the F disc here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, F disc. 
Let's go, F disc. All right. What are we up to at the moment? About 15 minutes? Yeah, we got enough time. We got, we got enough time to at least um, have a look at what uh, this new, this new, this last area is. Um, there is a lot more you can do in this game, so this game's not going to end anytime soon. This Let's Play's not going to end anytime soon. There are a lot of things you can do. We have Colosseum battles to do, for God's sakes. We've only done one Colosseum battle, and that's required. While there's like... Loads. Probably a dozen at least. But now we have this. The construction lots changed to the real Gam Tower. An intense tower that was finally completed as Cypher's base. It has a Colosseum on top. Yeah. This was done by Cypher. This is Cypher's doing. It's weird. So this, folks, is Real Gam Tower. How is that being supported? I don't know, but I like it. Yes, yeah, so we have a pseudo wudo here, and another pseudo wudo here. Wow, they do like their pseudo wudos. They like their Liam Neesons. They love their trees. I'm not even bothering talking to you. I'm just going straight in. So yes, this is the real Gam Tower. It's um, it's certainly interesting. I'll I'll, say, I'll certainly say that much. Um, you have to take these weird these weird platform things that definitely don't look safe. Oh, and that ciphers. That's Cypher's music. Oh, God. Well, what we can do is we can just keep moving stuff. Oh, good Lord. Can I leave? Yep. Yeah, okay. De Kim is here. Yes, De Kim is here. Um, great. Yes, yeah, pretty much as you can tell, this is a Cypher's base. All the Cypher admins we've got against Mira B, De Kim. Um, Venus, Ian, they're all here. You could probably tell that by now, but yeah, they're all here. They're all wanting a rematch, but I don't have my main team sorted just yet. So that's really the thing here. But there is this here, which is very nice. There is this here. So we can heal, obviously, and we can uh, save our debt and stuff. But let's save our debt now, actually, because I want you to see how long it's been. 69 minutes, 22 seconds. But we have now purified every single Pokemon that we have snagged so far. Very good. I'm going to have to consider which Pokemon I want for my main team. Well, there's one that's definitely going in, which is Ruby. Ruby is definitely going to be uh, one of my main team Pokemon. So is Entei. So that's two sorted already. But when it comes to the rest of them, I'm not too sure. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of choices. Uh, I have well, Olive is a pretty decent shout. Uh, so is Thigh Gap, but I'm going to have to do a lot to try and get him uh, up to the levels of the rest of the guys, uh, which could take a while. Um, maybe he's Fluffy? I'm not sure. Um, Sean is a bit too low level, so I think we will be picking uh, Raikou and Suicune. So that just leaves two spaces, which for the moment may... I don't know. Hang on. Let's have a look at this. Umbreon versus Fred. Who's got the better stats here? Ugh. Well, Umbreon certainly does have a lot better um, defense and overall abilities. Sneasel has good attack, but you can only use really furious wipes with that attack. So, yeah, do you know what? For the moment, I think for a dark type, I think Umbra is a better shout than uh, Fred, which is a bit of a shame for Fred there. Uh, but that leaves one space. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to pop Groove in. Because Groove's a pretty good Pokemon. If I can get Earthquake on it, I'm going to have to find out when Groove gets Earthquake. That's the thing here. Um, and I think we are going to be, be picking Olive. So, there we go. That's for the moment. Um, I may want to switch Umbra out for uh, Groove. Which is not a bad shout, actually. Because if Groove can learn Earthquake... I could do a nice team up with Olive and uh, Groove because Olive has got the Levitate ability, which means he can't get hit by Earthquake. That's also very good because in the real, in the uh, real Gam Tower, everyone bl and their bloody mother uses Earthquake as sort of like a strategy. They have like a Pokemon that either uses Protect or has Levitate or is a uh, Flying type or is just really resilient against it. Um, so us adopting that strategy wouldn't be too bad. The only problem is that Groove hasn't learnt it yet. And I don't know when Groove actually learns Earthquake. But for the moment, this will be my main team. This will be my main team for the moment. 
They're all pretty good levels, all level 40 and above, which is very nice. Uh, apart from Olive, who's level 43, but we're probably going to be trying to focus on getting Olive to a Flygon just to get that sorted uh, first. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here, uh, but in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we will be going through the Real Gam Tower. I'll see you then.